Keep an eye on your nuts, my friends. Don't let nuts ruin your life. You control the nuts. Don't let the nuts control you. And if you're gonna eat nuts, make sure you're eating the right nuts. What's up, my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. Now don't get me wrong, I love nuts. They taste delicious, they look beautiful, but dang, do they wreck your gut health and the health of your skin. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys some reasons why you should not be eating nuts. If you're trying to heal your skin, if you're trying to heal your gut, they're probably best to be avoided. I know most of you guys, including myself, are probably gonna eat nuts anyway because they are so nutritious and delicious. So I'm gonna give you my recommendations for the healthiest nuts to eat and how much you should actually eat. There are four nuts that are okay. And if you're gonna eat nuts, they're the ones to do it. I'm gonna let you guys know exactly what those are towards the end of the video, stay tuned. Okay, so issue number one, and this is probably obvious for most people, but if something is bad for the digestion, it's also bad for the health of your skin. And so they have a copacetic relationship with each other, meaning that if you have any food that for you personally is hard to digest, then no matter what that food is, it's not going to help you heal your skin or your gut health or your digestion. Nuts, generally, for all people across the board, are hard to digest for two reasons. One, the type of fiber that they have in them is a not easily soluble fiber. It does not mix well with water. It's just harsh and it can be inflammatory, kind of challenging to digest for a lot of people. Also, the other fact is that nuts have anti-nutrients. And I know that there is a lot of different ideas out there and a lot of different thoughts and, you know, it's kind of a big argued issue. It's, it's not something that people agree upon at all. But anti-nutrients for many people are the death of your skin. If you have an issue with the anti-nutrients that are in nuts and you're eating nut butters and nut milks and nuts on a regular basis, your skin and digestion are gonna become so inflamed and you won't have any chance of healing your skin. So the anti-nutrients and the fact that the fiber is a really challenging fiber to digest for a lot of people make nuts very hard to digest. That's what the issue is for most people gut-wise and digestion-wise are those two things. Another thing about nuts is, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I don't know anyone who can just eat a couple nuts. There's a nice bowl of cashews sitting over there on grandpa's freaking table, and they're they're perfect. They're raw, they're well-sourced, and you, you grab a couple and you eat them. And they taste damn good. Cashews are yummy. And you go about your business, you're walking around, and you're talking to your grandpa and having a good old time, and what happens before you know it, you're back at the cashew table stuffing your face with more cashews like a chubby bunny. Before you know it, that two to three cashews became a handful of cashews, which is like 1,200 calories or more. Nuts are extremely highly addictive food. In nature, it's hard to find nuts in abundance and they're always in a really hard shell. So even if you wanted to, you couldn't sit and just pig out on nuts if you were out in the wild. It's never gonna happen. So I don't think they're designed to be eaten in large amounts. They are so addictive that you can't stop eating them. And so every time there's nuts available, you smash way more than you want to. This leads to overeating, way too many calories, and you're stuffing your body with that fiber that I just talked about and those anti-nutrients that I just talked about in huge amounts. It's a problem. That's a major problem for your skin. Okay, and we all know this, right? How many times on a plane do you hear, if you have a peanut allergy, please tell the flight attendant. Um, allergens and allergies, there are so many people that are allergic to different forms of nuts. It is one of the foods that has the highest percentage of people around the world who are ad not addicted to it, but that too, but who are allergic to nuts. I'm talking full allergic response to where you go into anaphylactic shock and your throat closes and your eyes swell up like the gnarly level. And even more people are 
slightly inflamed by nuts and have a really poor relationship to it and they don't even know it. They might be like partially allergic to nuts and not know it. That's a ton of people. That's not good. Those are the basic reasons for why nuts aren't that good for your skin or your digestion. Um, there's probably a million other reasons too, but generally too, I've just noticed that the clients that I work with and for myself, that when you stop the nuts and the nut butters, you're good to go. But many of you guys do wanna have a little snack food here and there and nuts are easy for you. So which nuts, if you're gonna eat nuts, are the best nuts to eat? There's only four of them in my opinion that have worked for me and my clients throughout the past eight years. Walnuts, almonds, Brazil nuts, and macadamia nuts. Make sure that they're quality, make sure that they're raw, and do not overdo the nuts. I don't allow myself more than five nuts per day. Five walnuts is not very many nuts, but that's all that you need and you really don't want more than that. So if you're gonna eat nuts, those are the four nuts I would go with and I would stick to not having more than literally like five total nuts per day I would avoid the nut butters altogether. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. Leave all of your comments and your questions down below. Thanks so much for watching the video, you guys. I really appreciate it. For those of you who are looking to get a hold of me to become one of my skin health clients, there's a link in the description box for a consultation. Click on the link, become a client of mine, and we can get your skin nice and healthy. Also, for those of you looking for a step-by-step -step guidebook, you can click that same link below and it'll take you to the three phases workbook, which is at my website, HealthActivation.com. The Three Phases Workbook is a simple step-by-step -step guide for healing skin naturally with diet, nutrition, cleansing and detox and lifestyle. It's a great guide, pick it up. Also down below are two links that could change your life and I'm being absolutely serious. One link is for Skinessa, which is the world's finest skin health probiotic. I take it every day, my clients take it every day. It's absolutely amazing. Also, ButcherBox has been so kind to become a channel sponsor and offer you guys a discount for anything that you purchase from the link down below for high quality. I think ButcherBox is the highest quality um, online meat service that you can get. That's why they sponsor me. That's why I'm working with them. So pick yourself up some ButcherBox. They have great prices and high quality meats. Have some fun, thank you. Guys, on the Instagram, you can find me as Stuart Rob Stewart. In real life, I'm just Rob Stewart. I think that's it. Much love, I'll be back with many more videos really soon.